everyone, and welcome to the design challenge number 20, design what you're best at, and this is the review. All right, so basically, do something unique, uh, design what you're best at. So in other words, if you're good at designing logos, then design a logo. If you're good at design icons, design an icon. But it has to be based on the theme of animals, okay? So it has to signify an animal in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so this was, uh, the submission deadline was three days ago uh, and very few requirements. Uh, so let's get started. So the first entry that we have here uh, is a 3D kind of a polygonal art entry. And I didn't really know what was happening here you know, in the composition itself. Uh, I Obviously it is turtle swimming and then it looks like uh, maybe some waste barrels or some just some type of cylindrical uh, issues, maybe oil spills, possibly, if I thought about it enough. Uh, but with clarification, it's a picture of turtles swimming through poison water. <laughs> so that's not too obvious, obviously, because uh, the, the water itself is, looks like it's crystal blue. I uh, eh, kind of needs a little bit of work on the execution side and the composition side. Uh, but as, in terms of just looking at the turtles themselves, you know, it's pretty accurate. You could tell that they are turtles. So thanks for, for the entry. All right, and then right here we have a logo design. Uh, and looking at this, definitely animal relevant. Uh, we have some type of bird or dove or something here. Um, and, you know, if I were to look at this, you know, just without seeing the type, I would think, oh, you know, big deal, it's a bird. You know, that's not too unique. I mean, but it kind of makes sense. It is relevant based on the name here, the heights. So, you know, you have the heights, you think of the sky, you have a bird. So, in that regard, it is uh, good in the sense that you're going to use something that's relevant based on the name of the company or whatever it is. So thanks for that entry. Definitely simple as well, always a plus. I uh, Right here we have something that kind of really confused me. I wasn't really sure what's going on here initially. So I, I'm not the best at anything, I think so, but I also have an exam. <laughs> I can't post anything, but still have one design which I made for my game profile. You could say it is an ele an elephant nose or a tail or something else. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely wouldn't have gotten an elephant nose out of this thing right here. But let's just say, for the sake of you know me doing this review, I'll go ahead and review what this is. Um, so the big issue is is I'm not exactly certain uh, that there's. Well, I'm not certain at all. Uh, I, mean, I am certain that the issue here is there's uh, design inconsistency. So what that is is, you know, you have the, the the tank fighter and you have these lines right here. They're all solid. There's no shadows. There's no gradient. And there, you know, there's no pixelation occurring. Same thing with this outer circle here. But then you have this thing here in the middle, and you have uh, gradient sort of effects going in and drop shadows inside of these things. And what happens is it throws the entire design off. So if I were you, if you wanted to keep, if you wanted to keep things consistent, especially when it comes to logos or icons or whatever this is supposed to be try to keep things designed in a uniform and consistent manner. So if you're going to use this, these type of effects, use it on everything else. Uh, or vice versa, if you're going to use stick with flat design, do it on here as well. All right, so thanks for that entry. And this one, that reminded me something of something similar that I did. Uh, so I clicked on this Behance link, and this is uh, the Behance profile page for this particular project. You can see designed it here on paper so thanks for taking the time to do that assuming of course you know I uh, you did it for this specific purpose and this challenge I uh, and so I just wanted to show I uh, something similar that I did probably a few months ago and that is right here and I put mine on Behance as well at the time I uh, and so mine was uh, based on a drawing as well that I did and I kind of just showed the process of I uh, me doing this design essentially. Uh, so if you look here between the both of these, you know what is it that yours might lack compared to mine, for example? I uh, let me get the white version here. I uh, and what that is essentially is a lack of shading and detail essentially. So if you take a back, look back between both of these, you can see I have a lot of uh, of mid tones and highlights and shadows all worked out through here along with you know just tiny just details and stuff and that really helps bring everything together otherwise this kind of feels a little bit plain so you know if you work in all these details and you work on all the coloring and such uh, it really brings everything to life so that's one improvement I say you could make on yours alright so thanks for that entry 
So we're gonna come down here. Now this one I assume is a photo manipulation of some sort. Uh, let me scale out just a little bit, or zoom out rather, just so we could see everything that's happening here. It would have helped to see perhaps, you know, what images that you composited, assuming that this is a composite and a photo manipulation of some sort. So I, there's not really much I can say about it because I don't know exactly what's happening. You know, if this, this deer here were indeed imposed into this scene, then I'd say you did a pretty good job. But I don't know what's happening, unfortunately. So I can't say too much about it. Uh, but thanks for your submission. Uh, so let me zoom back up here. All right, so I wanted to make a simple, relaxing penguin. I'm not sure if he's too relaxing, but uh, <laughs> that showed how awesome surfing penguins are. Okay, uh, so looking at this, uh, there's two things that I could say about it. Uh, the, the flappy creation text, uh, especially with this design going through the center of the text and the amount of contrast that's, that you see between the orange, the white, and the blue, it conflicts too much with the flappy. It kind of makes it hard to read. So that's generally something that you want to avoid. We're gonna, when you're, whenever you have text, you want, a lot, you want to make sure it has a lot of uh, contrast based on the background that it's put onto. Uh, it, it, and you don't want a lot of uh, lines and uh, contrasting elements going behind it. So I would probably have moved this over here where there's a little bit more space. That way you don't run into those issues. Uh, and then secondly, I would say this heart right here, you can kind of tell that, you know, this side of the heart is does not match this side of a heart, kind of just throws it off, especially over here. So I would just taken this, duplicated it, flipped it horizontally, and it would have been a little bit better. But that's just a minor gripe. But thanks for the entry. And then finally, our last entry, this wasn't too popular of a challenge. Uh, we have here a logo. And there's a couple issues with this uh, that could definitely be improved. First of all is the color choice. So this this orange with this blue, there's not enough contrast. Now, if we were talking about this blue right here, like this darker blue, there would be enough contrast for this. But with these two hues here of these different colors, there's a little bit of a clashing going on. It's kind of hard to see, especially when you look up here with this cat and the orange and this very light blue. Uh, it kind of gets lost in a sense. So you always want a lot of contrast and, uh, when it comes to your important elements. Secondly, you have uh, the, the animals, like with this dog right here on this text. It's a little bit, uh, it makes it a little bit hard to see the A-N-I-M, especially the, the A between the N and the I. It's kind of just, uh, just scrunched together. So it's hard to read initially. Uh, so I would definitely extend those out, the uh, the spacing between these letters. Uh, and then also, it's, I, I'm not too certain it's always necessary to try to depict every type of animal, like the bird, dog, cat, and mouse. Uh, that just kind of goes a little bit too much into clutter, in my opinion. Uh, so I would try to work on a more uniform symbol, aside from literally depicting every type of animal, essentially. All right, so thanks for the entries. Hopefully that was helpful to those who did submit an entry. Uh, so yeah, uh, look out for the next design challenge video, which will be number 21 here in a few days. And I think I'm gonna stick to uh, maybe logo design because the logo design challenges are always a little bit more popular. Uh, so I, I definitely don't want to do something like this again. There wasn't a lot of entries. So I, uh, yeah, uh, also look out pretty soon. We're going to be working very hard, me and Vivs from SlideNerd, youtube.com slash user slash SlideNerd, on coming up with a uh, mobile app design and coding crash course and some other stuff. All right, so I'll see you later. Make sure, by the way, to subscribe here on YouTube and check out the site designcourse.com. All right, goodbye.